The greatest challenge for a young albatross is its first takeoff, a skill only practice can perfect. But on this Hawaiian island, there is no room for error. Jaws wait below. Can the rookies escape? In the northwestern Hawaiian islands lies an isolated coral atoll, the French frigate skulls, known as Lalo in Hawaiian. The small sand islands here are seabird havens. Turn Island is a crucial breeding ground for more than half a million seabirds each year. It's one of the largest tropical seabird rookeries in the world, and it's only about two meters above sea level. Still, it's a safe place for now. Green turtles and extremely rare Hawaiian monk seals also use the island to breed, or simply to rest. There could be only around 1,500 Hawaiian monk seals left in the world, and about 20% of them live around Lala. Their dives in search of food in rocky crevices and on the sandy bottom take them within range of their main predator, the tiger shark. Many seals bear the scars of close encounters. Tiger sharks can even eat green turtles. The sharks have worked out how to regurgitate the shells by turning their stomachs inside out. They have a reputation for eating just about anything. Local tiger sharks patrol the skulls, but between June and July, a small population of outsiders arrive in the atoll for the annual air show. In 1942, the US Navy converted Turn Island into a 900 meter long landing strip to support World War II fighter planes. Today, it's a runway for rookie albatross pilots on dangerously low test flights over the water. The visiting sharks seem to have worked out their flight plans, but how the sharks know about these maiden voyages is a mystery. Perhaps in the past, some tiger sharks fortuitously encountered the annual fledging, and now they synchronize their visits to coincide with the culinary event. But for the rest of the year, the tiger sharks have no interest in what happens to the albatrosses of Turn Island. Virtually all of the world's populations of black-footed albatross breed in these northwestern Hawaiian islands. Females will lay only one egg every two years. The chicks lead a charmed life. While they take it easy on Turn Island, their parents will sometimes fly thousands of kilometers across the ocean in search of food for them. The chicks will be fed right up until it's time to attempt their first flight. Then the food deliveries stop. The adults abandon Turn Island and head for the freedom of the open ocean, where they will glide for hours at a time on course to far-flung places like Alaska and Mexico. These orphaned albatrosses face a challenge unique to their kind. Flying is not the problem. It's the takeoff and landing. They must develop their chest muscles before they can control their long wings. A headwind will give them the lift they need. If they knew what was waiting for them out there, would they attempt a takeoff from Turn Island? The visitors have arrived to wait for the unlucky ones who need to ditch on their maiden flights. A headwind, furious flapping, and a long run-up will get the albatross off the ground. But the runway on Turn Island is short, so the water's surface must be used to keep up momentum. Success! a nice little glide, and an elegant water landing. Sand would have been preferable. Surface vibrations have reached the electroreceptors of a tiger shark's blunt snout, and it's homing in on the source. Who's up next? Another black-footed albatross is clear to depart. It's a great example of a short runway liftoff. And a textbook water landing. From below, the shark can now see his prey, but the albatross needs a drink break before attempting a tricky water takeoff. What began as a practice run has turned into a flight for life. Panicked wing flapping and a sprint across water exhausts the youngster, and she's heading away from the safety of Turn Island. Researchers estimate 10% of young albatross raised in the area disappear this way. 
In a couple of weeks, the birds that survived their grueling training exercises will be strong enough to leave Turn Island. And the visiting tiger sharks will move on. But the sharks are not the only problem for the animals that breed on the low islands of Lalo. In 2018, Category 5 Hurricane Wallaka swept across the atoll. Turn Island was spared, but another important breeding refuge known as East Island was almost wiped off the map. It shrunk from 800 meters long to just 46 meters overnight. Climatologists predict that powerful hurricanes like Wallaka will become more frequent. Their storm surges may swallow other important breeding islands. The birds, seals and turtles of Lalo have endured storms, a World War II airstrip, and the hungry, touring tiger sharks. Turn Island is a safe place. It's higher than other sand islands in the atoll, for now. Want to see more fascinating birds and other wildlife? Then check out our Wild to Know playlist.